Hey everyone, so I decided to actually walk you through the solution to the full perfectionist board. I've been posting these before and you might have thinking like, what is this guy posting? So this is actually the game called Perfectionist, which I designed. You can click on the link if you don't know how to play the game. There's like a gray, grayed out menu, which you can actually click and it will tell you, okay, this is how the game is played. It's actually pretty simple. It's easy to get into the game, but what's not easy is to actually mastering the levels. Typically people will go through levels just once, but that's not how we should play the game. And the whole beauty and intellectual pleasure from the game comes from the like from you going through the level many, many times until you really find the solution that that is fluent, that gets you a lot of scores. And when you feel that you're not doing a lot of kind of these, uh, you're not wasting a lot of score on matching up or, you know, uh, trying to combine many blocks in order to get something. So your matches have to be as short as possible. Anyway, uh, this board is very cool because it was extremely challenging. I just couldn't get through the end phase. I had a lot of blocks, which I didn't know what to do with. And then finally I got it, and this is just an indescribable feeling, I have to tell you, because you're standing there in a tram with a phone, you know, a stupid smile on your face because you got it, uh, you know, it's, it's such a great feeling. And so I decided to share this board specifically because it has so many traps where you think, okay, this is a simple solution, but you shouldn't go for the simple solution, at least not with this board. So let's get right to it. All right, so this is the board, very patterned. Uh, how I start with this board is actually, um, you look at this and you think, okay, uh, these are pretty obvious things. And now I have the symbol combination. Do I match up these sevens or these sevens? And it's actually the answer, of course, is pretty obvious because you want to unlock the eights, right? So these are pretty obvious situations. When I'm saying obvious, what I mean here is that there are no large blocks in the immediate vicinity of these guys, like I had 15, 15, and that means that this is a pretty good deal. 15 and a perfectionist is the maximum block value, so it's a no-brainer no with the nines as well. Uh, but here's where we come up to the first trap. So look at these three tens and an 11. You might think, okay, here's what we do. We do that and we match up these babies, but you shouldn't do that. And I'll explain why. Here's why you shouldn't do it. Uh, so let's actually use that one to remove the 12s. And let's look at that structure over here. You see that these are very cool options here. Match up the nines, unlock the 13s. How do we do that? Well, this is how we can do it. We match up the sevens, we'll leave that seven alone, and we unlock this treasure trove. Look at this, look at this, this is great. Don't worry about the seven, we'll actually take care of it later. Um, now, uh, we have to understand what to do with the tens. And this is, my idea was this, we have these guys over here, and we have this 10. Is it realistic to match it up with this one? And actually, yes. So first of all, we can get rid of one over here, um, and we have a good combination right over here. Then a good combination here, right? A loss of only two points. Uh, we can get rid of one and let's say do this. And now uh, there's not a lot to do here, right? We can actually unlock the fours right over here. Uh, and uh, one option that you have with a nine is to sacrifice six. That's a lot of points to sacrifice. So you can do that. But I decided, hey, no, here's the idea. It actually sacrifices a lot. It sacrifices, I think, five, right? We'll sacrifice two points here, and we get rid of the six, which sacrifices three, but we get the nine and we unlock the tens. So this is, I think, a very good idea. Uh, yeah, and we'll create this. This one will be important for later, just. Uh, all right, so a couple of other pretty obvious things. Remember I said that we're gonna take care of the seven? It comes into play right now. Boom, there you go. So this is pretty obvious. This gets a little hairy, but it's gonna work out, believe me, uh, because it unlocks the nines. Um, so what else? You might get rid of sixes. Let's use the one for this, right? Um, and the fours, oh wow. Uh, now, here's what we have here. We can get a one up to here. Pretty obvious combination as well. Now, this is interesting, right? Here, a nine. Uh, and what you do here is you do this, and you get a six out of 10, which is a good deal. And voila, the end game phase. Now, remember, I said that we're going to use that one, and we are because we want to match it up with this 13. And then we have the sixes, the five, and we're completing the game with a whooping 336. That was a great board. 
that was a great board because so many traps, so many challenges. I actually, I think I spent like five days on this, on and off. Obviously I didn't play like all day, right? But you know, so I'm really proud of that and I hope that you can you know, try it out yourself, see whether you find this board interesting, but I found it to be very exhilarating really. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you later.